Now we have the Distinguished Service Award. This award recognizes a significant volunteer service benefiting the greater good, philanthropic leadership, or service to the Minnetonka Alumni Association. The recipient of the 2017 Distinguished Service Award is Cornell Anderson from the class of 1966. Cornell has served on the Minnetonka Alumni Association Board for 10 years. He helped start the Fine Arts Endowment Fund, which awards grants to teachers for art-related programs in Minnetonka. Cornell's other volunteer activities included being a member and president of the Carlson School of Management Human Resources Alumni Association, member and president of the Minnetonka Schools Foundation, and six years as an assistant and scoutmaster for Troop 346 in Minnetonka. Introducing Cornell is his friend and fellow classmate, Bonnie Borg-Niles. As a director on the Minnetonka Alumni Board, it is an honor and a privilege to introduce this year's Distinguished Service Award recipient, Cornell Anderson. Cornell has made significant contributions in our district and community with his skills in leadership, volunteering, service that all serve and benefit the greater good. He began his educational training in the Minnetonka Schools K-12 and graduated from Minnetonka class of 1966. While there, he was active in academics, band, and intramurals. Following graduation, he attended the University of Minnesota and received his undergraduate degree in business, followed by a master's degree in human resource. His professional training allowed him to work for many years with nonprofit organizations, retail marketing, hospital management, and finally retiring as director at Alina Health Systems. Following retirement, Cornell and his wife Patty have spent the time traveling the globe, literally, visiting son Ryan and family in Portugal, daughter and Jennifer and her family now in Australia, and Patty's family in Norway. However, his first trip out of retirement took him on an adventure to Antarctica. His wanderlust nature continues to find expression in his outdoor trips, canoeing in northern Minnesota and biking. Today we recognize Cornell as a former director, president of the Minnetonka Alumni Association, and a member of the foundation where he worked tirelessly to bring awareness to these organizations. During his tenure, he worked to connect members of the alumni community, was influential in establishing and raising funds for the Minnetonka Fine Arts Endowment, organized and planned three successful all-school, all-class reunions, volunteered at countless events, and was spokesperson for the Alumni Association. I personally appreciate, respect, and am grateful to Cornell for his mentorship and commitment to serve this district and our community, for his love and loyalty to family, and for working to grow and support the Alumni Association. Today this event is a celebration of Cornell's history here in the district and his achievements. Thank you, Cornell. You have definitely left a piece of yourself that will long be remembered and respected. Thank you all. Thank you, Bonnie. It's very, uh, very nice. Um, I want to thank the Alumni Association for selecting me for this award in great honor. Um, it was truly a surprise and one for which I am most grateful. I wish also to thank my family and right now that is my wife Patty since while I tried to get my son and daughter to come from Australia and Portugal, they just didn't agree with a luncheon justified the trip. So um, they are not here. But I'd also like to um, thank um, my friends who've taken time out of their busy schedules to, to attend this event. Your attendance here means a lot to me. Shortly after learning that I was to receive this award, there was an article which I found very interesting in the Forbes magazine that was posted by the district on the Minnetonka Facebook uh, page. The article was about Marcy Adams, who is coach of the Minnetonka's 2017 National Championship Cheerleading Squad. I hope I got that right, if I read the article correctly. Included in this article, there was a statement that seemed to me to be a good summary of leadership. 
The author of the article said, the hero's journey is about the hero. The leader's journey is about the team. I fully agree and support this definition of leadership and would like to take just a few moments to thank three teams whose contributions have significantly helped to make, make it possible for me to be recognized today. The MAA, Alumni Association. As a leader, you never want to be in a position of leading a charge to some defined goal and turning around and finding no one following you. Um, this was never a case with the MAA board. In fact, most of the time it seemed that I was the one running just trying to keep up, keep up with them. The MAA has grown and matured since it was started, not because of a single leader or leaders, but because the board is a team of individuals working together to achieve the desired goals. It has been a number of years since I left the board, and it is amazing to me the number of board members who I worked with during those first 10 years who are still on the board and are contributing to continuing to work to make the MAA an even better organization. I would like to recognize these individuals who worked with me for their help and teamwork, teamwork that they provided me, and more importantly, for their continuing commitment to the MAA. This includes, and I won't ask them to stand again, but uh, Bonnie Niles, Marietta Jacobson, Joy Fruin, Gail Ofstahagi, and Gail Bolas. Secondly, the Minnetonka Public Schools Foundation. The foundation has been another important part of the team and certainly deserves mention. They have been supportive of the MAA and open to maintaining ongoing communications by having a, an MAA ad hoc representative attend their board meetings for the past 11 years. But perhaps more important is their show of their support is their willingness to have the MAA participate in their annual teacher grants program. This is a wonderful program. It provides funding to teacher requests for programs, projects that otherwise would not be funded. This has, been, this has provided an excellent way for the MAA Fine Arts Endowment to support fine arts programming throughout all schools and educational levels in the district. Finally, I'd like to thank the Minnetonka School District. The impact and importance of the district becoming an active partner and team player with the MAA cannot be overstated. I wish to thank Dr. Peterson for recognizing the importance of a strong and successful MAA for both Minnetonka alumni and the district. Excuse me. Dr. Peterson, your, your ongoing support to the MAA has been and continues to be instrumental to the growth and development of the MAA. I worked with a number of staff while I um, was on the board, and my heartfelt thanks goes out to all those staff who were assigned to work with, with the MEA by Dr. Peterson, and um, their involvement, participation, um, has meant all the difference uh, to where we are today, what we've been able to accomplish, and what, what the a MAA has come to be. So thanks again to all of you for coming. I very much appreciate this rec recognition.